What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Ken Tron up in here once again. Let me see if I can throw on some drums real fast to see if this is all going to work. So let's go here to... Let's slow that down. Just slow it down to about right there so I can just chop, chop up the game with the people, okay? As we're monitoring everything, I don't know what, the, what it sounds like, but I'm back. For another post gig review I don't know what this one is called But as far as the number I don't know what to number it I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hands So I just leave them here in the front But anyway I did have a gig on Saturday Saturday night Went out to a certain place A place called Noi Pits Okay I was asked to come sub And we made it do what it do Okay Shout out to the band. Y'all know who y'all are. I don't know if y'all want me to say your names, but I'm just going to just say shout out to the band. Thank you for the call. And man, what can I say? Well, I guess for starters, for starters, I was initially going to bring two keyboards because sometimes I think I want to have all my sounds available, but sometimes carrying this keyboard i don't know if you guys understand this is a motif right so i packed this motif up and there was one time i remember taking my motif out of the trunk of my car trying to put it on the dolly and when i got down off the ground from putting it on the dolly because i gotta take it down i noticed my back was a little bit messed up my back was sore so this particular gig i brought the two keyboards but I left this one in the car. I just rocked out with my Korg and made it do what it do with that one. I brought the double keyboard stand just because I thought I was going to use two keyboards, but eventually it just turned out to be just one, which still worked out good because it's always better for me just to bring less gear. So that's the first thing. And then I noticed that, man, I need to get a audio cable that's just kind of not so long because I have I have one but I keep it here so I need a smaller one so I can have my keyboard and my little monitor right next to me my little speaker right here and I don't need a super long cable for that maybe just a six feet cable just as a precaution so that's just on the gear side so we set up everything we get going and we do our gig and we do a good job I think we did pretty well the there's a couple of songs that stood out to me i wrote them on a list one of them the first one i will say is uh i'd still say yes and this is the song like i found it by climax so let me see if i can remember how to how the chords go because sometimes it's good to do a review because this is the first time i really played this song so let's break it down so let's cut the drums so i know the chorus is so on that part you gotta say I still say yes so my thing on that one was to do was to do harmonies because I didn't really know the, the verses nothing like that. We had a great lead singer, but I noticed that we needed something in the harmony. So my thing was to go. I still said yes. There was, a, I think, a little conflict right there because I think there's two artists that sing this song. I think the original one was Climax. 
So on the verse, I noticed on the climax version, they went to that chord like it was. This chord right here. So that's one thing that stood out. Okay, I want that song kept playing in my mind the next few, couple days. And after that, what else did we do? Other, other songs that stood out to me were You Ought to Know. Okay, this is a song by, a song by Alanis Morissette. So. So that's you ought to know, just the basic chords. And then what else do we have on here? We have, um, let me blow your mind. Let me blow your mind. This is from Eve. See, this one was kind of interesting because I think we, were, we was kind of thrown off on this one. I, the guitar part. I was admittedly a little confused because I was kind of caught off guard with this song because sometimes when you're playing songs and they you might get somebody telling you right in, in the middle of the song or at the end what the next song is going to be. So I'm, I'm trying to process it while I'm playing this song that I'm already playing. And that's kind of sometimes you got to figure out how to deal with that because we were playing, we were doing... Mary J. Blige. Let's get it crunk. We're gonna have fun. Na, na, na. So what ended up happening is, for me, I was kind of still hearing that in my mind as we were trying to do Let Me Blow Your Mind. I was trying to play it the same way, but it was, it was a little different. It's like, the chorus for Let Me Blow Your Mind is... Wait a second. I hear it in my mind. the drums slow it down And so this song, now I need to learn the, the chorus to the, the lyrics. I need to learn the lyrics to the chorus because I didn't have nothing to say when we was doing the song. I <laughs> so that's what I'm going to work on. I think that's ultimately, that's I'm going to work on that. There's another song that we were doing. It was called, um, that we attempted. It was, we kind of aborted this one. We wanted to do... Thank you. 
I'm gonna cut it. I think I'm, I'm running into 10 minutes. We're gonna shut it down. I just wanted to give some type of a review of la, of the of the gig. Shout out to all the everybody on the on the instruments. We had a dope drummer. We had a dope bass player, dope guitar player, dope lead singer, and then there was me trying to just you know fill in the gap. But all right, we're gonna shut it down. I'm gonna edit this down some kind of way. I probably want it's gonna probably be raw. Cause this is all you know part of something big because we want to be big but anyway that's just the real deal how i am ken tron we rocking it rocking it trying to make content every day and we gone peace five six seven eight and cut seven eight and cut